A love guru on screen and easily one of the hottest women in Hollywood? Uma Thurman has probably had this very question in her mind, at least twice, while being married to English actor Gary Oldman and later to Ethan Hawke, her on-screen love interest. Irene, don't touch me. Listen to me, Irene. I don't even know who you are. Did Uma Thurman really know her second husband, Ethan Hawke, when they wed? Or perhaps he had deep, dark secrets hidden away in his drawers? That's shocking. <laughs> oh, really? So that's what led their happy marriage to a disaster and both of them to depression? That's what Uma felt many times. Twice divorced, she found herself in the chain of failed relationships. One of them even ended up in court. But what is hidden behind those breakdowns and love failures? Other women? Or a hectic work schedule leaving very little room for love? Well, let's discover it together. Oh gosh, I, haven't, I don't talk about this very much. Okay. Like half of America that gets married goes through what I've just been through. Mm -hmm. And um, it's no, very... 57%. Thank you. Well, half of America is not Uma Thurman though. The Hollywood star labeled as a sex symbol for intellectuals, Uma Thurman is for sure a good catch. Well, even if for some men it's just for feeding their ego. I know perfectly well that love for you is an appetite. Makes idiots of you all. Looks like Uma Thurman knows her way around this kitchen. We mean love kitchen. Until 2003, the statuesque actress and model was happily married to sardonic rom-com heartthrob Ethan Hawke, her second husband. Yes, we're talking about her co-star in the sci-fi thriller Gattaca. If you're going to pretend like you don't care, don't look up. The wind, however, caught their relationship as well, or just gradually made it fall to pieces. Thurman and Hawk parted ways after being together for five years. Their celebrity marriage was rumored to explode in a burst of infidelity allegations, hinting that Hawk had an affair with their nanny. Well, it's just a little bit of gossip. Ethan Hawke himself claimed that the real reason behind their all-too-public split was the stardom and hectic work schedules, both his and Uma's. He insisted that the nanny had nothing to do with the breakdown of his marriage with Thurman. He added, Sexual fidelity can't be the whole thing you hang your relationship on. If you really love somebody, you want them to grow. Now Ethan Hawke is, so to say, growing his relationship with that very nanny. Hmm, <laughs> it might sound suspicious, but in defense of the actor, we can say that he married her three years after his official divorce with Uma Thurman. They finalized it in 2005. The same year, during her appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show, Uma herself took responsibility for the failure of her marriage. Just like her ex-husband, she confirmed that they simply had crumbled under the pressure of their work. Blaming anybody doesn't make you feel better. Yeah. And when you have two children, I think that uh, that's such a priority to protect them. When Thurman and Hawk separated, their son Levin was just 18 months old, and their daughter Maya was about five. Looks like he and Uma did their best not to expose Maya and Levin to their fighting. I just love my family and my parents, and it doesn't matter what they do, and that's kind of how they raised us. And Bringing up their children together after the divorce was not the only challenge for Uma and Ethan. On the downfall of their marriage, he was spiraling into depression. And their kids, Maya and Levin, helped him through the dark days, just by needing their dad. Obviously, the same goes for Uma Thurman. It was tough for her to bear the after-effects of their all-too-public breakup. And Thurman found her own way out. She jumped up at the chance to cast in Prime, as a recent divorcee, Rafi. Surprisingly, she called this role what the doctor ordered, a no-brainer. I understood exactly what this character was going through. I know what it's like to be single again and alone again. Well, back then Uma had a romance with celebrity hotelier Andre Balage. Yes, the one who dated a lot of famous women, from Cameron Diaz and Chelsea Handler to Kylie Minogue and Courtney Love. In case with Uma Thurman, that was actually an on-off relationship. We're very good friends. We have been for half my life. And that's not about her ex-boyfriend, millionaire hotelier Andre Balage. This title goes to Pulp Fiction director Quentin Tarantino. But did they go from a long-lasting friendship to a love affair? Those speculations arose when Uma Thurman and Quentin Tarantino walked the carpet together at Cannes back in 2014. Well, rumors again. But what is known for sure is that there was an unspoken tension in their muse auteur relationship. The reason behind that is Kill Bill. <laughs> Breathe, 
bang, bang. Oh. oh. Whilst Uma was starring as Beatrix Kiddo, Tarantino pressured her to do a dangerous car stunt, saying that would be okay. However, it wasn't. The car crashed on set and Thurman suffered a neck injury. I felt this searing pain and thought, oh my god, I'm never going to walk again. When Uma returned from the hospital wearing a neck brace, she had a huge fight with Tarantino. She even accused him of trying to kill her. Tarantino later said that making that decision was heartbreaking. Beyond one of the biggest regrets of my career, it's one of the biggest regrets of my life. It affected me and Uma for the next two or three years. A trust was broken. In 2018, Thurman posted a video of that very nearly fatal car accident on her Instagram page. She wrote that the film's producers, including notorious Harvey Weinstein, covered up the accident. They lied, destroyed evidence, and continued to lie about the permanent harm they caused and then chose to suppress. It was not the only time when Harvey Weinstein harmed the Pulp Fiction star. So I've been waiting to feel less angry. And when I'm ready, I'll say what I have to say. So why was Uma Thurman angry? Because she was sexually assaulted by the convicted rapist and former film producer. She says that the first attack happened in a London hotel room. He tried to shove himself on me. You're like an animal wriggling away. I was doing anything I could to get the train back on track. My track, not his track. What's she gonna do if I don't? Okay, okay, we all know that Lenny Cohen or Beatrix Kiddo are really good at fighting, and Uma Thurman is no less of a fighter than her characters, but we are surely talking about overcoming obstacles rather than getting into physical battles. Thurman always drew the survival energy out of who knows where. Women in the business are just, uh, like, the rapping. She got into this complicated business at the age of 18, starring in Dangerous Liaisons as Virgin Bride Cecil, who was forced into having sex by deception. She admits she hated shooting the love scenes, saying, I could not stand being the inflatable sex doll everyone wanted me to be. I was naive sexually when I made that film. At the very same age and also being naive, she met a guy who would later become her first husband, English actor Gary Oldman. Well, not that old man at the time. Young and crazy. Old man. I'm from England. <laughs> yes, here he is. And that's where they first met, according to People magazine. The two went shortly after Gary's divorce with his first wife and after just several months of dating. Hmm, that sounds risky, right? And it actually was. Hollywood kept gossiping about his constant problems with the law. Who knows, maybe that was the reason behind their split. Or perhaps it was caused by Gary's alcohol obsession and other unhealthy behaviors. Anyway, both Thurman and Oldman called their marriage a mistake. Uma Thurman has two failed marriages under her belt. She vowed never to tie the knot again. But then, what a surprise, the Hollywood star announced her engagement to multimillionaire Arpad Bussan. In 2012, Uma gave birth to their daughter, Luna. However, the story didn't have a happy ending. The couple parted their ways after seven years of an off-and-on relationship and found themselves in a child custody battle. In court, Uma said that she split from Arpad shortly after he had an aggressive tantrum in front of her children over a cancelled trip to the Bahamas. In court, Uma portrayed him as an errant dad who preferred football games and concerts over his plans with Luna. In turn, Arpad said she had treated pregnancy like a business deal and allegedly had severe mood swings. After a bitter legal battle, Thurman won primary custody of their daughter. Do you see things that way, black and white? Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Are you in therapy? Um, yes. Well, everyone has bad times, and Uma Thurman seems to be a real professional in overcoming them. 